Uh, our results were very strong across the board, but indeed the APEC region extraordinarily strong, almost 30% uh, uh, volume growth. Um, and this was basically pre-opening in China. This was driven by very strong results in uh, key markets like Vietnam, Malaysia, Cambodia, uh, driven by our step up in marketing investments. Our marketing investments across the year went up 22 percent. Um, and we really see that uh, coming through. And indeed, with the reopening in China, there may be you know, additional momentum building uh, in, uh, in this coming year. Um, what's important, uh, where APEC was indeed strong, but we were growing our volumes, our revenues uh, across all the four uh, regions. Um, beer volume up 6.9 and uh, very relevant to us and something we have been cl uh, watching closely. Our premium volumes up 11 and Brent Heineken up 12.5 and, and if you correct for Russia's delisting 14.5%. So we still see a very resilient uh, consumer for the beer category. Which is fascinating because I remember last time we saw you, you were concerned about the macroeconomic outlook and you were worried that inflation was going to start eating into that discretionary spend. And particularly in Europe, I think, concerns that we might see subdued behaviour in terms of uh, beer drinking. What do you feel now about that inflation challenge? Yeah, so important to look at the fourth quarter. Our beer volumes in the fourth quarter were still up, so that was a good, uh, good sign. You still see subdued uh, volumes in the on-trade, in the bars and restaurants, but across the board, beer volumes were still up. For this year, we remain cautious, uh, of course, because of the huge impact of energy costs. Uh, there will be a relative strong price uh, increases early in the year and we still do expect volumes to come, uh, come down in the European region, even though we still accept, uh, uh, expect stable to slight increasing in our global volumes for the year. Dolph, really good to see you and uh, great to catch up, of course, in, in Davos as well on the panel we're on as well. Look, um, undoubtedly, the, the star performer looks, just looking at your numbers here, Asia Pacific, uh, fourth quarter organic growth, 22.9%. But just talk me through a little bit Africa, Middle East and Eastern Europe as well. Negative 3.3% in that fourth quarter. What's going on there, Dolph? Yeah, it's, it's really a mixed picture. We had very strong performance in uh, Ethiopia with our business up in the, in the double digits. We really are consolidating our market leadership position there. Double digit increase in South Africa, which is an, another key market. But then, for example, in Nigeria, we see some slowness. We see our volume down in a mid to high single digit. Very important. That's really driven by the mainstream uh, brands. Our premium brands are still up. Brands like Heineken, like, uh, like Desperados. Um, but you do see, you know, the effect of uh, global food pricing, and uh, et cetera, having uh, a destabilizing effect in some of these markets. But it's not a, 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 an average equal picture. You really see material differences between markets. Um, in Nigeria, we were able, you know, to, to get good pricing, better pricing than we'd be seeing in, uh, in recent years. So from a profit outlook, it still looked, uh, looked uh, more positive than just from a pure volume outlook.